Hi, welcome to CJ Wild Money Entertainment. Excuse the lighting, but we got a storm coming. So I'm going to try to hurry up before the thunderstorm hits. I got a box. When I got a box, if you've never been to my channel before, I get happy because there's always something special in the box. And I know what I ordered, and it's tech. So welcome to Text Tuesday. Hi, honeybees. That's what I call my subscribers. And when they see a box, they know they got to see my box. Let's get to it. See us inside. Okay, it is here. Show me what it got. Show me what it got. Baba na. With me. Okay, this is an HDMI. And if you don't know what an HDMI is, it's high definition. Media Multi Interface. That's what it stands for. And what these are good for is to hook to your TV that doesn't have enough HDMI ports. And even though you may have a 4K TV, some of them only has one HDMI port or two. And it's not enough you want to hook up your DVD, your PlayStation 4, maybe your Xbox One or 360. So they sell these things. In here, this one has a remote, has the HDMI box, has a charger, and has its paperwork. Now let's go over it really quickly. It's supposed to be able to control the HDMI without going to the box and constantly hitting on the box on which one. This is a four put. They come all the way up until eight put, many different brands. I am going to do an up close to this, so stay tuned to the end of the video. This one has a plug. And the other one I have that's in one of my older videos was just for Xbox. It didn't have a plug. You just plugged it into the TV, and then you plug your adapters into the unit. And even though the plug is short, I am going to probably change this because this is definitely not long enough. And it's just into an adapter. Um, if you've never been to my channel before, I don't do anything without reading the instructions. So I'm going to read the instructions. And then I'm going to show you up close on how this uh, HDMI is. Now this HDMI is a little different because it does 2.0 and it switches between the four HDR. However, it has HDCP 2.2. And what's happening is PlayStation 4... Um, doesn't adapt to all the switchers because they have that HDCP. And that HDCP is a blockage, the block uh, that companies are putting in on TVs and game systems. So you can't duplicate a video or a game and then sell it. So we'll be back up close and personal. Okay, I exchanged this for a longer cord. This is micro and it's getting plugged into the wall. Right here, I changed this. That's my HDMI gets plugged into the TV. These are my inputs. My first input will be Xbox 360. I'm plugging that into here. My next hookup will be PlayStation 4. And I'm plugging, okay, I'm turning on my PlayStation 4. I'm going to my settings. In my settings, I'm going to my system. I'm going down to enable my HDCP. Uh, this way, I'm going to see if this works with the HDP on. So I'm checking that box. Okay. Yes, I'm going to hit that. And let's see. Please wait. Now I should be able to watch movies on YouTube as well as Amazon or any of my apps. So I'm going to go over to this library and go over to my Amazon channel. And there it is. So the HDCP is active. I'm able to watch my movies, play my games. Let's check out YouTube. Um, check it out one of my uh, 
YouTubers, uh, Rosa Beauty Fashion, shout out. Yep. Um, and now I'm going to turn off the PlayStation 4. And I'm going to go over to Xbox and see if it just automatically turns on from there. Hitting my Xbox controller and see how long. Wham. It's there quickly. It just automatically transferred over without me using the remote or getting up and transferring it myself. I will leave a link in the description below if you like to purchase this HDMI. If you like this video, slap that subscribe button because you want to be a honeybee and you want to see my things and my stuff and stuff and things. <laughs>